Hello guys and welcome back to this brand new and awesome video on my channel in VR. That's right and today I will be giving you guys a tour through Valve's lobby. You can now explore that by jumping into the destinations app and it's so freaking cool. So I can't wait to show it off. Now it's time to jump into the metaverse and have some fun. Let's go guys. Hi, I'm Gabe Newell and I work at Valve. This is the lobby for our offices in Bellevue, Washington. In our work, we really value face-to-face -face collaboration, so we built our offices to support that. As you look around, you may notice the gifts from the community, awards we've won, and items related to our games and hardware products. Take a look around and let us know what you think. We've been giving tours of our real-world offices to fans for years, so if you find yourself in Seattle someday, please come by and say hello. Oh, that sounds awesome. So that was a little introduction from Gabe Newell himself. Very surprising. Wow, so now we can finally explore the lobby of Valve. I can't wait. So let's go this way. Welcome to the future of VR, people, where you can just step into Valve's office without any problems. So yeah, um, let me just uh, see what this Valve does. Oh, it just uh, moves by itself. Ooh, the magic is real. What is this dark sorcery? I mean, when I go this way, it just stops. And when I move towards it, it just starts moving again. Hmm. Wow. So we got a counter here with a bunch of awesome props. We got the gravity gun from Half-Life and we got the portal gun from, of course, Portal. Hey, nice one, Natey. I can even see the Aperture logo on there. It's kind of pixelated, but that's okay. Can we also uh, go behind the counter? Yes, we can. Oh, so what do we have over here? Is that a My Little Pony? What the actual heck? Huh? I am a little confused now, yeah. We got the Counter-Strike, CSGO. One of the best games you can play on Steam. We got a Razer mouse that lights up a bit and a Dota 2 mouse pad. This place makes me so curious. And they are hiding a lot of trash. Ha ha ha, even glue. Ooh. What is going on over here? This is where the uh, magic happens. So I would love to go there and sneak around, but. I don't think they would be happy, so let's just uh, go this way. This poster is from Team Fortress 2. This is the Pyro, 420 Blaze it. I would love to have a poster like this in my room. It would look amazing. Oh, wait a second, they put it next to the fire extinguisher. Oh, lols. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. We got an info spot here, let's read. Valve sign. This sign was cut with a high pressure water jet after a laser cutter had failed to create smooth enough etching. The symbols, icons and logos you see here were taken from our various games in 2010 when we moved into this office space. The images were positioned using a simple image packing algorithm which we wrote specifically to create the sign. Each of the individual symbols is repeated within the sign multiple times except for a single Gordon Freeman who's hidden as an exercise for the viewer. Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot of work. Where is he hiding? I have no clue. Guys, please help me out. I mean, we gotta find him, right? I don't know. I'm not going to record for an hour, so let's just uh, keep on moving. If you want to check this out yourself as well, there's a link in the description to the destinations app and then you can just find Garden yourself. So yes, there is an easter egg when I uh, go this way. There's a turret. And they are saying that I'm an intruder and that's true. Yeah, they are afraid I'm going to reveal their secrets. So let's go back before he starts shooting me. I don't want to die in the office of Elf. That would be horrible. So they got some magazines here. The Sacrifice. Ooh, we got Battlefield 1, great game. E-Valkyrie, also a great game. No Man's Sky, no comment. <laughs> 
and Gears 4. Ah, wow, wow. So here's a little statue from Dota. I would love to just sit here and chill, but it's VR, it's fake, you know? I could do it like this, I could... Yeah, now I have the feeling I'm sitting. But it's still kind of odd to do. <laughs> Lol, so yeah, let me just uh, go this way. And here we got Atlas from Portal 2. Uh, huge figure. Do not touch. Well, no one is going to tell me in VR what I should do or what I shouldn't do. So, I don't care. We also got a zombie from Left 4 Dead. He's mutated for sure. Big guy, a lot of muscles. Oh, we got the steam controller. I am sorry that I'm describing everything here, but... This place makes me so curious that I just have to name it all, you know? Here we got a statue from Garden Freeman. What happened to you? It is so freaking pixelated. What the heck? Ooh. Nice uh, computer case. Also from Half-Life. The guy who made this worked hard on it, that's for sure. So, fans create amazing things related to our games. And often we see one that we like so much that we decide we'd like to have one of our very own. In those cases, we contact the original creators and pay them to make us one. This Half-Life 2 Team PC case mod was created by Pillux, who came to our attention when he built a spectacular Black Mesa themed case mod a few years earlier. Oh, that's cool. Nice, Valve. That's a great move. I mean, Valve is known for loving their community, so I am not that surprised, but still, it's uh, so nice that they are doing this kind of stuff. And here we got the famous Aegis from Dota 2. Wow. So shiny. The Aegis of Champions. When we started working with Ice Frog on Dota 2, it was clear that we had an interesting challenge. How do we show Dota 1's enormous player base that they could trust us to be good stewards of their beloved game? We wanted to show them that we took it as seriously as they did. Which led us to launching Dota 2 by unveiling the International Dota 2 Tournament. An annual event where we bring the top Dota 2 teams from around the world to compete for the Aegis you see here. Weta Workshop helped build this trophy out of gold, cast, bronze and electro-plated silver. Each year the names of the international winners are added to the inscription on its back. So let me uh, go over here, this way. Oh. I want to have all this stuff. It's so sweet. Oh, we got the Atlas and Peabody chilling. We got a balloony corn, a portal potato. <laughs> oh, and up there we got all the characters from Team Fortress. Secret shop. Wow. There is so much stuff here. Oh, the bunk. Oh, I can remember that. I'm getting thirsty right now. Hmm. And there we got Gordon Freeman, a small version of him. Hmm. And a head crab, please don't jump at me. And a sandwich. Hmm, heavy weapons guy likes sandwich. <laughs> so I am just fanboying here a bit by just naming up everything and just uh, enjoying what I see here. I just can't stop saying it. Go check this one out. Oh, we got even Lego. Oh yeah, I can remember that. Lego Dimensions. Ha! So we got a guitar here with the uh, Velva icons on there. Ooh. I am wondering who made it. Even the logo is over there. Wow, can I grab it? No, I can't really do anything here. And there we got Guard Freeman. He's almost going to die, it seems. So can I go here? Hello? Oh, my head tracking is doing funny things now. Nope, I shouldn't go here. No, 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 no. Oh, controller, come back, please. Ah, whoa, what happened to their ceiling? I don't really know. Here we got all the characters from Team Fortress 2 on the wall as portraits. Ha, so the sniper, engineer, scout, heavy, spy, Pyro, Soldier, Demo Man, and last but not least, the Medic. And here we got Saxton Hill, of course. 
Saxton Hill, the most complex character we've ever created that still hasn't appeared in an actual game. Saxton Hill is a reminder of how our creative process is influenced by the ongoing conversation between our products and our community. Saxton began as a simple sketch on a TF2 webpage, but the community's instant response to him caused us to flesh him out further, incorporating many of the details that the community suggested or responded to most. Over time, the community's Sexton Hill, fan art, fiction, and even playable game modes have all affected the ongoing process of expanding Sexton's design and his role in the TF2 universe. Anyway, let's go back that way and see if we got something interesting we haven't checked out yet. I mean, we got a main conference room, but there is nothing in there. It's just a matrix. It's all fake. Yeah, bummer. I know. And we got an info spot. Oh, they are showing the uh, Aegis. Oh, these guys are like the best players of Dota 2 and they can just hold it. I am so jelly. It's not fair. I feel noob now. And we got art from Portal. And in the background, I can also see a dangerous plant from Half-Life. Don't eat me, please. I am not delicious. It's kind of dangerous. Don't touch it. So let me go back. Oh, here we got the elevators. I don't think we can go in there. Nope, there's nothing there. Well, you never know with Valve, they always put Easter eggs almost like everywhere. So yeah, this is the last spot, peeps. This section of PC Games Magazines often reminds us of how our relationship with our customers has changed. In 1998, when we released Half-Life 1, fighting for the PC Gamer front cover was an all-consuming goal, because it was critical to many customers knowing our game existed. Today, the internet provides a way to conduct our conversation with our customers in a much more robust way. But that doesn't stop us from being a bit nostalgic when we see these early images of Garden Freeman. I mean, we got Left 4 Dead, we got Half-Life, we got even CSGO here. And Team Fortress. Ooh, I wanna collect them all. There's so much to read here. It's crazy. On the other side, we got trophies, day one. So uh, let me read it for a sec. Trophies, we've been lucky enough to be awarded for a variety of things over the years. But the awards that mean to the most to us are ones given by the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences. Receiving this first Half-Life 1 Game of the Year award from the AIAS was really an unforgettable moment for us, beyond any of our hopes when we started working on it. And now they got so many. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Impressive. They got so many types of awards you must be proud if you work for valve and when you step into the office every day and you see this it's so cool that it's at the entrance you know that means something so is there anything at the exit oh yeah we got a turret another one ha so anyway guys now it's time to just uh, jump to the outro and end this video let's go and that was a quick tour through Valve's lobby. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then slam that like button as always. And yes, I would love to explore more of the office of Valve. So hopefully they are going to add more in the future. So if you play this, you can also unlock some cool items like a balloon corn, portal cake, and last but not least, a hat crab that you can wear as a character. So that's pretty awesome, right? So go check it out. There's a link in the description to their Destinations app. And now it's time to end the video. And as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaverse. Bye-bye.